and welcome to another VidaHost video tutorial. Today we're going to be looking at email and how we can integrate our VidaHost account and make it our primary Gmail account. I've set up a Gmail account here for the purpose of this tutorial and I've also set up a webmail account in here. Now if you refer to our last tutorial it will show you how you go about doing this. I'm going to be using this example John Doe at our domain so I'm going to click configure email client rather than access webmail. Now if you're using a client like Outlook 2000 or Outlook Express or the Mail app for Mac, um, you can simply download one of these auto configure scripts and run it and that will put all the settings in that we're now going to have to put into Gmail manually. So I'm going to go back to Gmail, I'm going to click settings, I'm going to click accounts and import and I'm going to click add a POP3 email account. Right, when we go over here you'll notice that we've got the name of our account at the top here and the manual settings down here and we're just going to be copying these over. So I'm going to paste that in and what you'll notice about the username first of all is that the username will always be the name of the account plus the domain. So we're just going to paste that in here, I'm going to paste in my password and we've got pop server mail parsiisope.co.uk, that's my example domain that I'm going to be using for these tutorials. I don't want to leave a copy on the server. If we were going to use webmail a lot, um, I can do this. Um, but I would recommend always, if you're going to be using a system like this, whether it's Gmail, Hotmail, or another web-based system, you always pull the mail onto that. You then use their space to store it. And then you can access Gmail through um, IMAP, which is going to be a bit more complicated. And we're going to come to that later in this series of tutorials. Right, I'm going to leave SSL off at the moment. I'm not going to label anything, and I'm not going to archive anything, so I'm just going to click Add Account. Now, it's um, all set up. All the settings have gone through OK. Um, now, this is the interesting bit. Um, it's, Gmail is broken up, so whereas a service like Yahoo or Hotmail, once you've added this information, you'll also add the outgoing information. Gmail just takes the incoming information. And that's fine, but what we really want to do is use it as a primary account. Now, I want to be able to send my email from this domain, so I'm going to click Next. I'm going to have my name as John Doe. And you've got two options now. Send through Gmail. This is very easy to set up. You literally click Next. It will send a confirmation to our webmail. And then when you send an email, it will be from, example, John Doe at our domain, sent via email, uh, Gmail. I don't think this looks very professional. So um, what I'm going to recommend doing is set it up so we send it directly through our domain. So I'm going to click this and it gives us SMTP server. Now you don't want to panic here. This is really, really straightforward. All we're going to do is we're going to change, we're going to take some of the information out of here and we're going to paste it in here. So when they see outgoing server, um, we want to be using SSL because it's secure at this point. So we're going to be using the uh, the Outgoing mail server um, is going to be Caracas, which is a server from Riderhost that uh, I have my tutorial accounts on. Uh, we're going to set the port to 565, and then we're going to copy our username across. And I'm going to put in my password. And I'm going to tick here, always use secure connection, and add account. I'm going to check my correct, correct credentials, and it's going to say... Do you want to use this? If so, enter the verification code. Now, with this verification code, there's going to be two ways to access it. Either we can go back through cPanel and access it via our webmail, but don't forget now that we have actually set up Gmail to receive email from that account. So I'm going to click Settings, Accounts and Import, and here it says Example John Doe at our domain. I'm going to click Check, check Mail now, and it, you can see here that it's already said One Mail Fetched. So I'm going to head back to our inbox, and right here you'll see Gmail team email confirmation, sent our confirmation code through, so I'm just going to paste that in, and there we go. Now, when we go to compose mail, we'll see its default address is at Gmail, but we can also send from our domain. Now this is absolutely fantastic, but it's a bit of a pain if you want to be using this as your primary email address, because every time you have to click compose, you have to select the other account, and you're going to forget that. So we're going to click settings. 
and we're going to change our default account. So we're going to go to accounts and import, and you'll see we've got our at gmail.com and our at domain. And it's saying outgoing mail is sent through Caracas, so that's secure. And I'm just going to click make default. Now this is a dead easy way um, of making sure that when we go to compose up here, it's got John Doe at our domain rather than at gmail as the default domain. Really helpful. But one thing to bear in mind is that we're going to be checking our email from a pop account, which means we're going to be pulling email off the server at regular intervals. Now Gmail is very good at doing this automatically. So if we go back to settings, accounts and import, you'll see we've got example at our domain and it says last checked one minute ago. Now as a default, Gmail will check this every five to ten minutes. Now this is great if you're using your email uh, maybe every few hours, but if you're like me and you're using your email as um, as a business or as, uh, as somebody who's working a lot from it, you want to be able to check this regularly. Now, the easy thing to do is to go to settings, accounts and import, and click check mail now. And that's great and fantastic, um, but obviously that's three mouse clicks and it can be a bit of a pain. Now I'm going to point you towards this thing up here called Labs. Labs has lots of extra settings that aren't enabled by default. So I'm just going to scroll down and what you'll notice is there's lots of really helpful things that you might want to use in future. But what we're interested in here is adding refresh. So um, allow me to explain what that means. I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to click refresh pop accounts. Fetch mail from pop accounts on demand using the refresh link. And I'm going to click enable, scroll down and save that change. Now it's reloaded my email account and when I hit refresh up here, as well as refreshing our Gmail account and the emails displayed, it's also now pulling email off our server. So that saves having to go settings, accounts, and find. So now we've basically got Gmail set up. We can access this from your phone. You can access this from anywhere in the world. And it's a fantastic alternative to the already inbuilt webmail. Um, it's uh, much more robust because it's got chat built in. And it also now means that you can use a branded email, so at your domain, and if you've got a couple of different domains, you can have them all set up in Gmail as well. So it's really important to remember that. A very powerful tool and very, very easy to make use of your Vida host uh, account details. I hope this was some help to you. Um, we're going to be continuing our series on email in the coming weeks, so please check back.